Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, my name is Steve, one of the performance coaches here at Spectrum Sports Performance. And we're gonna jump right back in our series on explosive agility. How to improve that, work on that, and develop that. So let's just go back a week. We talked about uh, decelerating into a base, how important that is, and how few people are able to do that well enough. The um, whole purpose of decelerating is to change direction. So we're gonna build on that and talk about changing direction. Obviously, we could talk all day about it. It could be a full-length discussion. We don't got a lot of time. So we're going to talk about just changing direction in all three planes of motion. So changing direction while moving straight ahead, changing direction while moving side to side in a frontal plane of motion, and then changing direction while turning and actually running like in a transverse plane of motion. So it's important that we're able to do all three because most sports involve movement in all three planes of motion, right? And we have to change direction like that. Okay? So I'm going to be the demonstrator today. I feel like I should get a little workout in. Hopefully I don't pass out on you guys, so I'll move kind of slow. But we're gonna start by talking about running straight ahead and then having to change direction. So I'm gonna scoot back real quick. Sagittal plane of motion. So picture I'm running and I've gotta change direction, whatever it may be. So as I run into this position, I've gotta drop my hips, get that nice stable base. Because my next movement may have to be a shuffle. If I try to make that movement running straight up, good luck, right? Running straight up and shuffling, no power, uh, no, no consistency as I shuffle across, it's probably going to suck, and I'm probably going to suck. So I've got to drop my hips and be able to shuffle across. So it's important I get to that nice stable base so that now I can produce my next movement. Whether it be a shuffle, whether it be a turn and run, or a crossover, or dropping and turning back behind me. Whatever it is, I've got to be ready for it by dropping my hips quickly and aggressively, and then make that next move. We've got to do this as well so the athletes don't have to think about it. It's got to become a motor pattern. They run, they drop off of reacting, and they make that next move. Okay, so let's talk about it moving side to side because it gets a little more complex. So picture I'm already shuffling, and now I need to make my next movement happen. So that could be shuffling and then re-accelerating. That happens a lot in sports like football, where I'm gonna go ahead and be a running back, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna to have to shuffle and find that hole and re-accelerate. So my ability to re-accelerate all predicates off my ability to decelerate and then re-accelerate. If I'm shuffling across here, I've got to go ahead and drop my hips and decelerate. So if I don't, my weight's gonna to continue to go this way. If I continue to go that way, good luck, re-accelerate. Right? Same idea if I'm you know, a sport like basketball, lacrosse, soccer, where I've got to shadow somebody, play defense. Happens in all sports. Football as well, think about an old lineman having to go ahead and pass protect, right? I've got to go back and forth. So it gets a little trickier, right? All my force going one way, I need it to go back that way. So if I don't decelerate properly, I keep going. But also, we're going to talk about dropping into a change of direction based position. Setting up so I can go back that way. Because if I go to here and I want to go back, I'm not in a great position to shuffle back out of it quickly and aggressively. A change of direction base sets up with good shin angles telling me which way I'm going to go ahead and go. So now I'm ready to push back quickly and aggressively. So if I use that change of direction kind of position with those good shin angles, now I'm ready to shuffle and move side to side quickly and play good defense or good pass protection, right? Obviously thinking about, I'm always ready to go ahead and drop and make that next movement, whether it be running straight ahead or dropping and turning and running. I've got to make sure I drop the hips to be able to do that. But that change of direction position can obviously be really important trying to cover distance laterally. And once again, we're just talking about distances, usually about three yards or so, maybe a little bit longer on a sport like basketball, right? Obviously, dropping the hips is important for sports like volleyball. If I'm playing the net, we'll have to get up and jump, okay? So let's now transition to the last, which is on a rotational plane of motion, right? So a great example of this is a 5-10-5, or a pro agility test. It's obviously a test that can matter a lot for athletes that are trying to earn a starting spot, earn a position on a team, and sometimes in the professional ranks, dollars and cents. Regardless, as every second matters, every tenth of a second matters. On a 5-10-5, I'm here, I'm gonna run to one cone, then the last cone and run through. As I do that, I'm running, I have to drop, turn, and come all the way back. I'm running, dropping, turning, and going all the way back there. So I've got to now be able to decelerate and rotate at the same time, right? It's not just dropping straight down, it's dropping into that rotational position, and I'm gonna use my change direction base to come out of it. And then the same thing over here, I'm running, dropping, creating the shift, and then running across. 
So we got to work on running straight ahead, dropping, shuffling, dropping, and now turning and actually running and dropping and change direction. That last cut can be one of the toughest, but if I can work on that technique on dropping and creating that angle coming back across, I can cover lots of distance and hopefully be faster side to side. When we talk about change of direction, we're really now getting into the explosive agility. Because it's one thing just to move in one intended direction, but most of sports, we're combining lots of movements together. And I need to be able to change direction. If I can't, good luck. All right, thanks for tuning in.